Excellent! Yay! Oh wait, wrong film. <laughs> uh, anyway, Neos. Some might say that this is what was in store for Neo if he had taken the other pill Morpheus had offered. Life as a biscuit. Uh, right then, I suppose we had better take some out. Actually, I'll be back after drunk it. Good evening, Mr. Anderson. Bang, bang, bang. See, that was bullet time. Uh, anyway, some would say the Matrix might not have made it if it had starred an Oreo knockoff of some kind. Then again, some may not have noticed the acting difference. Um, anyway, I'm tasting. I'd like to package these. Hmm. Right, they come in uh, packs of five. There's five of these little packs in there. Uh, first thing I can see is they're distinctly smaller than the average Oreo. And uh, yeah, they don't come apart as easy as normal Oreos. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's just a. Uh, I'll leave it there. Um, yeah, I may have told you I'm not a fan of the white stuff in uh, normal Oreos, but. Uh, Brown chocolate stuff is quite a different uh, kettle of fish. Um, immediately though, from this I can tell, this stuff is harder and a little bit drier than the normal Oreo stuff. So uh, let's try a bit of that first. So I just put this back in a frame of it so you can see. Mm, that's quite nice chocolatey stuff in the middle. And uh, try a bit of the biscuit. Now the biscuit is my favourite part of uh, Oreos. So hopefully these won't disappoint. Right, not as chocolatey as Oreo biscuits. We have a very nice crunch and a good texture to them. We do not, I repeat, we do not have a repeat of the Borneo incident. These are uh, indeed quite edible and a good buy. Just for reference, I did actually get these in Lidl's. Very tasty, and I'd recommend them. Anyway, that's another episode of Cheap Munch done. Uh, if you'd like to like, subscribe, and share, any help in growing the channel is uh, greatly appreciated. And I shall see you next time.